everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell by the title, today is going to be another huge Primark haul. I have literally just got back from Primark like half an hour ago. So just wanted to see what was kind of new in Primark at the moment. I must say that the last two times I've gone, they had a little bit more stuff as in like most of the stuff that I saw I really liked and was picking up. Whereas this time it was a little bit harder for me to find really, really nice pieces, but I did still get some really nice stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into it. The first thing that I picked up was this dress, and this is kind of like a orangey, kind of ready rust color dress, and it's got a very sort of deep plunge, and then um, some buttons down the center. And I actually got this in a size four, because I feel like this looks really, really big. Like these obviously don't adjust, so I didn't want it to be like, like obviously usually I'd be like a size six or eight, um, but I didn't want the, the V to be like near my belly button or nothing. So I got this in a size four. I haven't tried any of these items on yet, so I don't know how this looks, but I'll add sort of try on clips in this video for you guys as well. But yeah, I really, really like this dress. I thought it was nice for summer with some sandals or some white heels. Um, and it was 13 pounds, so quite a good price. It's quite a nice sort of heavy material. It's definitely not like see-through. It's very sort of thick. But yeah, I quite like that sometimes in a dress because sometimes from Primark, the dresses can be so like flimsy and thin and they just look really cheap. Whereas I feel like this looks a little bit more expensive than 13 pounds so yeah i'm quite excited to try that one on next thing i got is quite a boring little piece but this is just a little um kind of like a vest top with a zip down the center little ring zip and this is just a khaki one um i got this in a size six and it was only five pounds so i just thought this would look nice with a pair of like denim shorts or high-waisted jeans in the summer um, and I really, really like the colour khaki at the moment. Um, so yeah, I just picked that up for £5. I had these in all different colours, like black. Um, they had like a red one, I think. And I think they had a white one as well. But yeah, I really like the khaki, so I got that one. The next thing I got was this dress. And I'm really not sure on the colour of this. Um, I wanted to get this in the navy blue, which was on the kind of mannequin. But they didn't have the navy blue one in my size. And I really liked the style of the dress. So I ended up picking it up in this pink colour but I don't know I just don't really usually wear colours like this I feel like it's a little bit too bright for me a little bit barbie um so I don't know um if I'll keep this or not I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like but it looked really really nice on the mannequin so it's just kind of got like this v-neck again with the buttons down the center this one is like a longer um midi dress so the other one was a little bit shorter this one is longer and it kind of buttons up i don't know if you can see but it kind of like buttons up to sort of halfway down the skirt and then it does have this tie detail which you can either tie at the back or tie at the front but yeah i'm not too sure on the color of this so i'm gonna see what it looks like on um, and then if not I might just sort of take it back and wait for the blue one to come back in in my size because I do really like the style of this right I actually picked up um three pairs of jeans today from Primark I never buy jeans from Primark like ever because I'm one of those people where I feel like with jeans um you need to spend a little bit more money I personally think that like if you do spend like 40, 50 pounds or more on a pair of jeans, you get so much better quality than if you buy the really cheap ones. But these ones actually looked really nice and they felt really nice quality. Um, so I picked them up and they were only 13 pounds, I think these ones, yeah. So um, yeah, they looked really, really nice. Oh, hello, hello baby, hello. Come on then, sit in my lap. Yeah, these were only, <laughs> sorry if you can hear my dog in the background, she thinks that she can dig on a duvet so she thinks the duvet is going to somehow allow her to create a hole um yeah so these are kind of like a distressed well they're not really distressed they've just got little patches where they look a little bit more distressed and they're kind of like in the center more like washed out denim but they are obviously are like a dark navy and they have like kind of like distressed um bottoms to them as well these say that they are um ankle grazer so i think that they're going to come up like kind of like ankle swinger length um but i actually quite like that with jeans because i tend to roll my jeans up anyway um because sometimes i like to wear them with like ankle boots and things like that so i quite like that um they're going to be ankle grazer but i really wasn't sure on the size to get um i got these in an eight because the six looked tiny um and i still think the eight looks really small because they are skinny 
Um, I was trying to look for a 10, but I couldn't find any. So I don't know if these are definitely going to fit, but if not, I'll just exchange them for something else. Next pair of jeans that I got are these. These ones are very, very similar, actually. Um, these ones aren't so distressed as the other ones. These are just like a sort of light wash, sort of navy blue denim. Um, these ones say that they're power stretch, which I'm assuming means that they're more stretchy but to be honest they don't really actually yeah they do feel quite stretchy for jeans um and these ones have just got the normal kind of end of a jean they don't have any like scuffs or anything like that but i thought these would be quite nice um just for the summer and the winter i mean i have a lot of pair of jeans with lots of rips in so i wanted to get some jeans that don't have rips in because sometimes i don't want to be you know walking around with like ripped jeans on all the time so picked these up in a size 8 hopefully they fit me because I really do like those and those were £13 again this next pair of jeans I got um these are girlfriend style jeans and these are going to be hard to show on camera but they've got this kind of like stitch down the middle with like a lighter fabric and then a slightly darker fabric on the other side and I thought these looked quite nice and like a little bit like vintage so yeah I don't really know what girlfriend means I've heard of boyfriend jeans but not girlfriend jeans so who knows um i got these in a size six because i feel like they look huge like the size eight literally looked massive like it looked like a size 12 so i got the size six in these and if they are a little bit big around the waist which it does look like they are going to be big for me then i can just put a belt with them but yeah i really liked the style of these they look quite cool on the back as well um so yeah i thought those would look nice with some cute sort of like crop tops and things like that in the summer right moving away from the jeans i actually picked up this lush sort of pale baby pink blazer a couple of hauls back it was either my last primark haul that i did or the haul before that i actually picked up a pair of this exact color trousers which was a, supposed to be a cold so the trousers were supposed to go with this blazer but at the time i couldn't find the blazer in my size but i actually found it now in my size so i already have the matching trousers to this like blazer and trousers set that they've got in there and um, so i was really really happy when i found this because obviously like i wanted them to be matching um but yeah the only thing with this one is i mean it's quite nice it's got like silver buttons um it doesn't feel the best quality and this was 17 pounds 17 pounds primark are getting expensive you know like when i used to go into primark like going back like five or so years everything used to be under 10 pounds and if you did find something that was like 10 10 12 pounds like you'd be like oh my god that is expensive for primark because primark like used to be so cheap and i feel like you would never find anything in primark for 17 pounds and this was 17 pounds so hopefully it looks nice um on i haven't tried it on yet but yeah i got this in a size a and in the clip i try and try it on with the matching trousers if they're not in the wash um so that you can see what they look like because they did still have the trousers in there today so if you wanted to get the blazer and the trousers as a pair they are both still in there right the next thing that i got was this really super colorful top with kind of like flowy sleeves and a tie in the middle and this is like a crop top when i saw this i just thought of you know the fruit pastel ice lollies and who doesn't want to look like a fruit pastel ice lolly i mean i don't know how this is gonna look it might look ridiculous or it might look really really nice but i kind of pictured this with like white jeans wedges hoop earrings so hopefully this will look quite nice on if it doesn't i mean this could easily go one way or the other if it doesn't look good then i can always just take it back um, and this was 12 pounds oh by the way i forgot to say as well that the girlfriend jeans were 17 pounds so they were a little bit more expensive than the other two pairs of jeans again primark again a bit expensive hun the next thing i picked up was quite a boring item but i just got this for work this is a black blazer and i found this in their kind of like workwear like section that they have um i just got this in a size eight and it's just got um one little button to sort of tie it up yeah i'm just gonna wear this over like my normal black outfit i've got a lot of black trousers and things like that that i can wear this with but it's like super super cold where i work like they whack the ac up so much 
so I need something to sort of like pull over if I've got like little short sleeves on or anything like that. This one was only £13. Again, it's obviously not the best quality for £13, but I don't really care as long as it keeps me warm. Right, now moving on to my smaller bag. Um, This in here is more like accessories and things like that. So there's no clothes in here. But I did pick up this belt, just this normal plain black belt from Primark. It was £2. I got it in a size small. Um, it's really super annoying trying to buy belts in Primark because they have really, really nice ones in there, but they only seem to ever have them in medium and large. And obviously I'm a small, so they would be way too big for me. So I had to get like a really boring one. But I wanted to just pick up a basic black belt because I have so many jeans that just don't fit me around the waist. And also I just feel like belts add a nice touch to an outfit um, and I just seem to always lose my belts like I have I have two of these black belts somewhere but I can't seem to find them anywhere so yeah I just picked up another one for two pounds you can't really go wrong next thing that I picked up were these packs of these are they don't even have a name but they're kind of like these like bendy roller things that you put in your hair like before you go to bed I got two packs of really little ones to make sort of more tight curls and then I also got a pack of the big fat ones as well for more loose curls one of the girls that i work with actually uses the fat ones um in her hair when she goes to sleep and her hair looks amazing it literally looks like she's like blow dried it or curled it or something so i thought i would try them out i thought i'd try the little ones out as well because i quite like the idea of having quite small curls um i don't know how well these are going to fit in my hair because i've got quite a lot of hair and there's only 12 in a pack and I got 24 so I might need a bit more but yeah I thought I'd try those out. They were £1 for the little ones and £1.50 for the large ones. Next thing that I got is really boring. I just got a couple of lint rollers. These ones are rose gold ones just because I like these for because I've got rabbits. Um, I like to just like use these to get little hairs off me. I like to just use these to like clean my outfits if they're looking a bit dusty, a bit like fluffy you know so got a pack of those they were £1.50 and lastly I just got a pair a pair I just got a pack of black hair grips I always pick these up when I go to Primark they're only £1 and you get 60 in there I go through these like they're going out of fashion literally I just I seem to just take them out of my hair and I never find them again so yeah always need to pick up a pack of those when I go into Primark and the last thing that I got was actually these so su lashes that they do um I haven't tried these before but they look really good like they look quite nice sort of wispy lashes I'm really not a fan of the usual Primark lashes everyone seems to love the sultry lashes from Primark they're just not my thing like I just I don't think they look natural or good at all but I really like the look of these these kind of look like they're copying like lily lashes or even huda so i'm gonna try these out i'll let you know how i get on in one of my sort of upcoming videos but yeah these were five pounds so yeah i just thought for five pounds even if they're shit then they're only five pounds so yeah right guys so that is everything from my haul video i hope you enjoyed it sorry that there's not as much stuff as the last ones that i've done i feel like there isn't as much clothes in this haul as my last ones but honestly like i just found it quite hard to pick things out in primark this time um i feel like maybe they're probably going through that transition now where they're thinking about getting their more autumn stuff in because i noticed that they had quite a few jumpers and i'm just like i'm still in summer mode like i'm still going on holiday in september like i'm not ready for jumpers yet so yeah i couldn't find as much stuff as before but there definitely are some really nice pieces in there at the moment but yeah that is everything thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please like the video and also subscribe to my channel i do try and upload primark hauls monthly so if you'd like to see um what's new in in primark then i do upload these videos every single month so that you can see what's new in in primark for that month but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye